Hello again. In this video, I will see you how I finish the the top. In the previous videos, I showed you how to glue a piece of wood as a reinforcement strip in the top, which is still a little bit visible here. This strip of wood, which we are covering now with the last strips, which have to imitate the wooden shingles of the roof and I am about to finish the last strips. I did previously off let them overlap but it looked very ugly and then I had to remove them again and then I decided to just do them like this and it might be not too realistic like that but as this is a model I, it won't be too visible. If I do it the other way overlapping then it looks really bad. What we are going to do now, I will show you how the last strips are installed of the roof. These are just the same size cardboard strips of 4 mm by 8 mm, and I cut them a little bit narrow and install them with the white glue. A little bit of white glue is more than enough and leave a little space between each one like half a millimeter to improve the feeling of relief to make it more three-dimensional and after the washings with like very thin black paint washings will go in between them and will even make it stronger this effect of relief and now we do the other side leaving a little space in and there is a little gap on top now if you can see there is a little gap here which I fill up with just a little drop of glue on top And then the last ones, which has have to be cut to size. Just have a look and then I decide what the length has to be. You can mark it with a pencil. And then I look if it's okay not still too long and then cut it some more. We apply already some glue so that the the glue has time to set a little bit and then Then it will stick better when it's a bit thicker. But one more important thing is that it shouldn't stick out too much. And the last part, and 
and some glue on top to fill up that gap. That's how the top of the roof is made. I thought it was not too interesting to show you how the whole thing is. It, they are practically all the same. The result should look like this. The roof is ready. It's a hell of a work, but the result is very satisfying. As it looks quite realistic, and after the painting it will look even, I hope, better. If there is somebody on YouTube who knows about how to paint these homes, then I would be very curious, very eager to know to receive an email from you or a tutorial would be very happy I would appreciate it now the next step is to finish the windows the windows are made from very small pieces of wood or from a piece of from a broomstick for example this is from a broomstick and I cut them to size with just a knife and an underlaying base to protect your working surface. And the first thing we do is we cut it straight, chop, chop it, and then we take a sharp pencil you could use a piece of cardboard as well as a caliper and for example we'll do this this window here in the front and in this case we'll try it directly And I lay it down and I mark my line. By, by eye, I estimate where I have to cut. This has to be done, this has to be done recently, reasonably well. You eyeball it and you make that you cut at the right place. And then gently you move your knife back and forward till it is cut and then we'll, we'll try fit it dry without glue Let me try fit it. If it's really fitting, you can do this with a pin. Yes, it fits perfect. We are lucky. Then we are ready to glue it into place. With some glue. Take some glue and apply it to the And we apply it and it has to be should be installed 
directly in the right spot without moving too much because then her glue will be wasted. Once it's in the right place, you can press it down gently and wait till the glue starts to set. This is simply white glue, PVA, wood glue. And now we should wait till the glue is as it starts to dry now. You can see the weather here in the room is quite okay. It's not too cold. And we double check if if it's really on the right spot and it seems it is. We remove all squeezed glue. All glue which is squeezed out should remove because when it's hardened it will be much harder. But once it's starting now it's starting to dry and we we'll leave it to dry. And that's the piece of broomstick glued into place. You see it's a little bit diagonal, that's not good. When once it's dry you can't correct it anymore. I think it's okay now. Later we still can adjust a little bit with the knife, we can cut away things that pop out and now we have to do the things in between. We do that the same way by eyeballing it. And then we also apply some glue there, very little bit, it's not necessary to do much glue. And we can glue it into place. I hope it will fit. And yes, it fits nicely. Then we do the other side, and that's how it's done. It's not too difficult. I lost it. We have to do it again. And 
and then we apply again a little bit of glue. One big advantage, benefit of this glue is that it will dry transparently, translucent. It, it won't um, transparent, it won't be visible anymore, the white glue. And uh, now we do the last two ones. Just the same way like we did the other ones. We do it by eye. We look and we mark and just to avoid it to prevent it from jumping away we hold it because it otherwise it will fly away and chopping One disadvantage of the thickness of this material is that it is a little bit too thick, which means probably that I will have to make the frame of the window thicker as well. I will have to add some cardboard in there. Or I have to make it thinner with the knife at the ends, which is also a, a possibility, an option. Well, the, one of the big advantages is that this material from the broomstick it doesn't bend. When I would do a cardboard strip of the same size, it would bend. Look, this is a cardboard strip of the same size, and it is not perfectly straight, and that's why I choose to use a piece of broomstick. Still, be very much alert and make that. Everything is nice and 90 deep square and even, even spaces between all those parts of the window. And that's the window. What you can do is around it maybe also put some piece of broomstick, but I'm not sure if I will do that. If it would look nice, that's a matter of experimenting. I think I can give it a try. Might look nice.
Yes, we could give it a try. Why not? It would look nice. And there is enough of this material. So let's give it a try. And if we don't like it, we can always remove it. Actually, it looks nice, and it looks more or less realistic, realistic enough to me. And of course the paint will fill up any possible micro gaps, and the glue does also a good job. The only important thing is that everything is square. It should look everything should look more or less square. If it isn't square then you you will be you will be regretting it afterward because once the glue is set, hard when it's it's hardened out, it is too late. Making models is also the, the courage to try to experiment. If you don't experiment, you you will never be able to discover new techniques. You should you should take the risk. I I read this also in a book that when you are doing the weathering techniques, which uh, is a technique when you are doing the painting work of a, to make it more realistic, your building, you can... Um, and it's also a matter of trying to experiment and not just following instructions. It's uh, kind of artistic. This is an artistic um, activity too. Now we do the gaps in between, which are still missing. Any gaps which are between the cardboard and the window, we can fill up with glue later. Now the most important is now to glue everything into place and make it square and remove the glue which is squeezing out because you won't be able to remove that glue anymore after only mechanically, which would be a disaster, the knife or something.
immediately you when you have glued it in place immediately start to remove the glue which squeezes out and I'm about ready now and I am quite satisfied about the result looks very nice And from distance it would look like this, which is more than enough. Well, you can see now very clearly that that... Let me see... Yes. Um, here at this side there is a little bit of a gap. And I will fill up that with glue. The other side, here, I already filled up with some glue and I will fill up now with some glue as well. We fill the gap with some glue. And then wrap along it with our finger to remove all excess. You can do that with a piece of cardboard or with a finger. Cardboard would be, I think, a wise decision. Yes, it works much better with cardboard than your finger, because you can come really in the corner. And this is how you would like your window to look like. This is look very small the window, but it looks okay. From distance it will surely look nice. So I will have to do the top window, the side one here, and there's one here at the other side, next to the fire, firewood which will come here under the roof. And at the back there are two windows here on the bottom and one on the top, which we will do. I will do that now, but I you've seen how it's done. Thanks for watching.